Kansas City area doctors today updating the public on this latest COVID surge inside hospitals. They're asking for the public's health to get through it. KQ2's Madeline McLean with more. Some Kansas City area hospital heads say COVID numbers are looking up. Others say they're not so lucky. A smaller percentage of a large number is still a pretty large number. And all say they're not out of the woods yet. Our mortality rate is about 11.2%, so um, really not improved from previous peaks. So it's still, you know, a significant illness. During a virtual news conference hosted by KU Health System Wednesday, one doctor reminded viewers that while some places are seeing numbers level off, the state of Kansas is still seeing the largest per capita increase in cases in the United States. Whether you measure by positive tests, test positivity rates, or hospitalizations, it doesn't really matter. We've got to be 50% from where we are. We're at least two to three weeks out from that, which means another two to three weeks out from the, the time when we see any change in the capacity. These doctors saying, despite what you may have heard, the Omicron variant is testing the entire healthcare system. There's um, a perception in the community, and some of that's accurate, that um, it's not as, um, the Omicron variant is not as severe overall, and there's some truth to that, but for the patients who are hospitalized, it is, you know, continuing to be a severe illness and requiring lots of resources to care for them. Including all levels of hospital staff. Just this week, um, because the, especially our OR has really been hit hard with staffing shortages, we've had to actually postpone some just outpatient elective surgeries as well. So um, we've, we've, uh, we're have struggling to try and meet our community and region's needs. To help get through the projected peak, the hospital leaders ask that you please get your vaccine shots. For those who are fully vaccinated and have been boosted, that there's they are 100 times less likely to die from COVID compared to someone who is unvaccinated. And that's an extraordinarily powerful statistic. And... Uh, so I, for those out there still sitting on the fence about getting uh, getting vaccinated, or if you're fully vaccinated and not boosted, uh, you really ought to be. Reporting, Madeline McLean, KQ2 News. Most of the hospital leaders today say that about 80% of their COVID patients are unvaccinated.